A couple years back, my friend Alex and I were obsessed with all things paranormal. Urban legends, haunted buildings, that sort of thing. We would often go to abandoned locations throughout the city for the thrill of it. Most places weren't that interesting during the day, but once it got dark, there was something eerie about them. I knew it was mainly in my head, so I didn't really consider these places paranormal. We went to condemned buildings, asylums, and even a creepy old mansion. These places were popular in our local urbex community, so we went to visit them. This one location, Still Lake Sanatorium, is where Alex and I had the strangest experience of our lives. But first, let's start from the beginning. It was a typical Monday morning. I was eating breakfast with my dad. My phone vibrates in my pocket as I wolf down the last of my cereal. Alex told me about an abandoned insane asylum he found on the Urbex forums. I was thrilled and said we should go there on Saturday and check it out. He agreed. My dad glances up from his newspaper and looks at me with an odd smile. So, Dober Bop, you planning on doing anything different this time so you can actually see some ghosts? <laughs> he chuckles. No. Got any ideas? I replied. Well, there's this little game me and my drinking buddies used to do when we were camping, he said with a wolfish grin on his face. He explains it to me as a sort of psychological experiment he used to do when he was younger. My dad only referred to it as the game. The rules were very simple. 1. Play the game between midnight and 4 a.m. 2. Be alone and have no one watching you. 3. Go to an area without windows, lights, or sound. 4. Wait in complete darkness. The last thing he told me is that all the doors around you should be open and to sit in the middle of the room looking at them. I was intrigued and told him I would try it. He gave me a nod and went back to his newspaper. Saturday came. Alex and I were getting ready in my front yard. We take his car and a few hours later we arrive at Still Lake Sanatorium. We got there at night. The place was ghoulish looking. We went up to the front entrance and tried the door. It was locked. Big surprise. We looked around and found a small window that was just big enough to fit through and went in. Complete darkness. We couldn't see anything inside. Alex brought out his flashlight. The area we ended up in wasn't so bad. It must have been the sleeping area for patients, I thought, so we didn't really freak out that much. Then I remembered the game. I looked around and found the perfect room. I told Alex to wait for me while I went to check it out. I explained the game to him and he reluctantly agreed. I set up the room in preparation for the game. When everything was ready, I opened the doors, sat in the middle of the room, and stared at the doors. After about 20 minutes, something was happening. I saw dark shadows and heard whispers. I glanced at the dark door on the left, and I thought I saw a shadowy outline in the doorway. My mind must be playing tricks on me, I reassured myself, but it got worse. Shadowy figures were dancing in front of me, and their forms became more distinct. Some of them were crawling on all fours, while others floated near the ceiling. One woman was particularly horrifying. She looked like my dead mother, and just smiled at me with a welcoming expression on her face. In the corner of my eye, I saw movement approaching me. Hallucination or not, I wasn't sticking around to find out. I quickly got up and ran like hell. When I got back to Alex, I saw that he was also frightened. There was no time for questions, and we both pretty much jumped out of the small window opening. We ran to the car and started driving. 
We were silent for nearly two hours. When I finally had the guts to speak, I asked Alex why he was frightened. He told me, during the whole time I was in the room alone, he heard a woman screaming coming from the room I was in. <laughs> 